And then last but not least, we have our garlic powder. Come on. Well, what are you waiting for? Well, where I come from, it's polite to wait for the dishes to finish their song and dance first. Bravo, that was wonderful. Hello, and welcome to a very special episode of your favorite cooking show, The Princess and the Chefs. I'm Leah, and today we have an amazing guest that I cannot wait to meet. I'm always looking for advice on how to perfect my meals in the kitchen. And who better to get pointers from than Belle? A few things I really love about Belle is that she's always wanting to try new things and learn new things. She also never judges a book by its cover. But what she cares about is how nice they are and how sweet they are. So let's give a warm welcome to Belle. Hello. Thank you so much for joining me for The Princess and the Chefs, Yasmin. How have you been? <laughs> I think you mean Belle? Oh, right, sorry. I mean Belle. You just kind of look like my friend Yasmin. Oh, I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for having me. I'm a huge fan of the show. Of course. So today we'll be making souffle. <gasps> really? I love souffle. Mrs. Potts used to make it back in the castle. Oh, listen to me. Jabbering on while there's a supper to get on the table. Chip. Let's get cooking! Literally. <laughs> okay, so here we have some carrots. Then we have some onions, of course, to give it some flavor. And then we have our salt and pepper. We have some oil to start with it first for the base. Then we have some of our amazing shrimp. Then we have some tomatoes. Here we have our cheese. We have our spinach. And then last but not least, we have our garlic powder. Come on. Well, what are you waiting for? Well, where I come from, it's polite to wait for the dishes to finish their song and dance first. Oh, well, I don't think these are those types of dishes. Maybe we should just start cooking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first we should uh, start with What's the olive oil. oil. Oh, that should be good. Okay, Thank I'm you. gonna start over here. And Belle, how do you stay so inquisitive even while in cooking? Well, I try to be open-minded about different things, especially when it comes to cooking and being in the kitchen, it just brings me joy. So what about you? When did you start cooking? Well, I was very inspired by what you do, so it inspired me a lot to start cooking. Oh, that warms my heart, yes. Cooking is a very valuable thing that's in my heart and that I love to do. So I got some of my onions in, and then I got some carrots in too. I'm gonna taste them. Right now, I'm just cooking up the eggs and the tomato juice. Okay, I think we're good with the tomatoes now. Mm -hmm. I'll go put them away. Hey, Belle, what kind of milk do you like? I like almond milk, actually. Awesome, that's great. I just poured some sweetened almond milk in here so we could give it a little bit more sweet and a little bit more taste. Now, we just need to pour in some salt and pepper while Leah is making her mixture of the other half. Belle, what kind of cheese do you want in here? Mm. American cheese. American cheese? Well, lucky us, that's exactly the type of cheese I have. Here, is that good enough? That is good. Okay, I'm gonna stir this for yeah. I got our like 20 more seconds. Ready. Gonna put a little bit of this garlic powder in the so, souffle. I like being very accepting of different things. A saying I like saying is to never judge a book by its cover, and that could even go in cooking. You don't have to be an amazing chef just to make a souffle or a dish. How much spinach should, do you think we should put in a souffle? Um, I'm just pouring a little. Okay. Not too much. Uh, like I said, it's always good to try new things. Okay, now let's put it to cook. Let's up and open. Perfect. There it and goes. And make sure we get it all. Awesome. 325 degrees and cook time start. Okay. Awesome. I cannot wait for the souffle to be ready. So, Belle, how do you pass the time while waiting for the oven? You know what, that's a good question. I like reading a few chapters. It's always good to have a book on hand while time passes. Wow, that's an amazing saying. Maybe if we try it, it might actually work. 
True. I'll borrow <laughs> this one. That one? But you've read it twice. Well, it's my favorite. You know what? I think the souffle is ready. Mm, I'm so happy. Yeah, it's ready, all right. I'm gonna put some souffle on here so we can try. Well, bon appetit. Bon appetit. Mm. <laughs> wow, this is divine. Mm, fabulous. Right? You could really taste the cheese. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the spinach goes really well with it. This is an amazing souffle. Thanks for helping me, Belle. You're welcome, Leah. Well, there's only one thing to do, and every good chef knows what it is. Clean up. Of course. It's always good to clean up, so that way next time you make something, you have a clear mind and you have some nice space to work. Right now, we're putting our dishes away with teamwork. Because teamwork makes a dream work, I'm always one to help in the kitchen. Because of our teamwork, we did an amazing job putting our dishes away. We did. And now we can have a nice place for our things. So next time, we have a nice area to work. I have a surprise for you, Leah. You ready? Yeah. I wonder what it could be. It's the great stuff. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Belle. It looks so delicious. So, bon appetit. Oh wow, Belle. Mm. It's delicious. It is. Wow, thank you so much, Yasmin. I mean, well, <laughs> for making this great stuff. It's delicious. That's what Lumiere says. <laughs> Voila! Thank you so much for joining me today, Belle. I really appreciate all of the cooking tips. Thank you for having me. I love hanging out with you. We should do this again sometime. And thank you all at home for tuning in to The Princess and the Chefs. That's all the time we have for today. I'm Leah. And I'm Yasmin. I mean Belle. Until next time, bippity boppity bye!